the Mad Man. Welcome to Dead Man's Hand Warrior. The only innovation I'm bringing here is the deck name, which is awesome. Don't dead, open inside. This deck list is copied from Dog, and the entire kind of concept was kind of pioneered by Rage, who has been doing draw-heavy warrior decks for quite some time with Blood Warriors. So the idea of this deck is pretty simple. Uh, the execution is going to be really hard and I expect to fail quite a bit. Run a bunch of survival, you Cold Light Oracle, you Dead Man's Hand, your hand with Dead Man's Hand and Cold Light Oracle, similar to what I did in the adventure. And then you keep playing Cold Light Oracles and Dead Man's Hand until eventually you kill your opponent with fatigue. The only thing I have to do is craft these two Bring It Ons, which I didn't do for the adventure, but now I will. Gotta really utilize the brain power of this deck. Looks like it's Miracle Rogue, which should be a favorite matchup for me. Slam whirlwind? Question mark. That deck doesn't really look to get a bunch of stuff out, so seems good. The Brotherhood shall come. So at one point I'm going to want to bring it on into Dirty Rad Brawl. Probably uh, turn 6 would be it. Sanity check. Is it important to save whirlwind effects against rogue? I think the answer is no. I also have skulking geist in my hand, and I'll probably look to play it next turn. It's pretty good against hallucination. Give me a quest. Huh, greetings. You will not be spared the wrath of Hellstream. Give me a quest.
can handle one of them. Hopefully the uh, four for questing. Or the 3 4. So, 60% chance of a good brawl here. Oh, that's, uh, that's pretty good. Bring it on! Fool. Did you just not play the second Arcane Giant? Oh! <laughs> I brought it on, so the second Arcane Giant costs more! This deck reminds me a lot of the adventure against the Lich King. I mean, probably because I ran almost the same deck. But there is a learning curve, and you're gonna make some silly mistakes and die as a result. Imagine that's Ice Block. By the way, if that's Control Mage, uh, the deck that I played yesterday, I also can never lose this matchup. Rather, I should say, I should never lose this matchup. Mm, fine. One thing this deck does lose to, though, is uh, Exodia Mage, indeed. Alright, so I can make him burn one card. That's fine. Oh, actually, I should say, I was thinking about this. The Exodia matchup might not be that bad because you run the Dirty Rat in your deck. So you can actually uh, cycle through your deck fast enough, possibly, to Dead Man's Hand the Dirty Rats, and then just start ratting. Okay. That's incredible. I bring life and Let the pain speak to me. Oh, that tickles. Oops, I ended up burning your card. I need to be more careful with my Acolyte of Pain. One of the few ways I can lose is by uh, discarding the other copy of Dead Man's Hand. TC 
So I'm definitely in a position where I will win 100% of the time here. I'll take a damage on this guy. That's more than a damage. <laughs> okay, fine, fine. Fine, 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 fine. Taking one damage on that guy is pretty good because of Battle Rage, but... That much damage is a bit too much. Alright, just drawing two is good enough, I guess. Now, with the Dead Man's Hand, I do want to have at least one source of card draw, so I guess I can't even use that. I can copy the Acolyte of Pain. That would be good enough. Eh, good enough, good enough. Oh, that was not right. It's okay, this matchup is so favored, it doesn't matter how much I mess up from this position. We're fine, we're fine. Nice hero power. You require my assistance. Aha. So any card I play can turn into a sheep and then turn into a water elemental. Is that a big deal? Also, does the mage have any one cost cards in their deck? Probably not. I think I don't actually want to play Skulking no. Geist. We're okay with just slowly whittling down these guys. I must choose. Oh, I'm surprised it's not Ice Barrier. Huh. Another counterspell? No, it can't be another counterspell, that's right. Um... Drink with me, friend. 
They have no idea. You wanna cast a spell? I wanna cast a spell. Oh. So I don't want to play the armor smith. That should be a card that gets copied. I guess I'm okay with not clearing this board on this turn. I'll clear just the three two. Oh, but he's uh. I guess I should play. Oh, but I don't want to play armor smith. <laughs> oh man, I'm just walking in circles. It's okay to play the armor smith. I don't have that many minions. That's fine. I wonder if it's like the sheep. Could be. Potion of polymorph. I have two whirlwind in my hand. I'm out of I think I did. It doesn't really matter much since I have infinite whirlwind. Okay, I should have whirlwinded twice instead of hero powering once then. Not good for him. Can I use my fishies, or will that come back to haunt me? What? Mm. I must choose. Should be okay. I have an execute. We're really getting low on cards. That's fine. Okay. I didn't really mind that getting countered, so we're fine. All according to plan? I'm out of cards. Wait, no, I need... No, I don't need that one. We're fine. So we're, we're whittling down our hand to just be Dead Man's Hand, Dead Man's Hand, Execute, Battle Rage, Acolyte of Pain. Right? To recap, Dead Man's Hand, Bring It On, Battle Rage, Acolyte, Execute, Dead Man's Hand. Okay, that seems like a good hand. So therefore I don't need this card. And I can also use one Bring It On. So next turn, it's Acolyte, Hero Power, Dead Man's Hand, Battle Rage. Unless I draw Dead Man's Hand first, in which case I should play Dead Man's Hand and then Acolyte. Wait, unless I don't want to get my Acolyte. Uh, the Acolyte and the Battle Rage kind of combine together, so I kind of need both, I think. I mean, I don't really need to go that infinite. I think we want to have all this card draw. Two, five, seven, nine. Take the eight damage. Nah, no, nah, I'm playing bring it on this turn for sure. Why would I keep a card that only cycles for two? Three, five, seven, nine? No, that fatigues me. That's super dumb. Three, five... Okay. What is going on? Where am I? Okay, I didn't know that animation would actually take time. I thought I could like just seamlessly do that. Oh, I probably meant to play Bring It On also. 
It's fine. We're fine. So this is actually a better hand than if I wait. I think I need to get my hand down to exactly... Ah. I can't have too many bring it ons in my hand when I dead man's for sure. And the battle rage is pointless, right? Since I'm just drawing an extra battle. Is that... Is this a fallacy? Do I want Battle Rage in my deck? Or would I rather just have one Bring It On and one Execute? I must choose. It's not really drawing more than one card a turn if the card itself is drawn and then it draws a card. Like, I'm almost sure there's something wrong with this, but... Alright. There's no point to shuffling Battle Rage, but chat was like, shuffle Battle Rage. I actually didn't have the mana to uh, not shuffle Battle Rage that turn though. Unless I thought I wasn't going to die, which I wasn't, so I should have played Battle Rage first. No, I've got this eventually, even though it's a little bit of a slug. Slug? Slug. So here I actually don't want to uh, Whirlwind. Okay, so we're no longer shuffling the Battle Rage into our deck. Does it make sense not to shuffle Battle Rage into our deck? Yeah, it totally... No, no, no. Yes. We don't want Battle Rage in our deck, right? We definitely don't want Battle Rage. It makes absolutely no sense to shuffle this card into the deck. It's like just minus two mana each shuffle round. And I actually don't even want to play that yet. Uh... Oh, he's actually starting to not fatigue as much. I have to at one point transition to actually uh, not shuffling back the dead man's hand because I might die too fast. I'm out of cards. Uh, but this time around I probably should shuffle both of them. Right, because the bring it on uh, is good since I'm taking less than that amount of damage. And then this is obviously good. the last cards in his deck are. I mean, in his hand. Oh yeah, probably those types of cards. Flamestrike, I haven't seen that one yet. Um, is it time for the end game of 
not going infinite anymore. Yeah, it's definitely time. So I dead man's hand this thing, and then I execute. can make an educated guess that that he no longer has any threats in his deck unless he's like you know chessing me right here there is a downside to going into it because you waste your turn drawing bring it on see like in a case like this like that's bad but by not having Dead Man's Hands in your deck, you get there. Anyways, I made that way harder than it should have been. <laughs> <laughs>